Materials like colors, patterns, and textures of 3D objects can be changed in the plan. In a 3D camera view, there are a couple of ways to do this. First, select the object that you wish to update and open its specification dialog. Click the Materials panel. All objects have a Materials panel inside the specification dialog. The Materials panel lists the components of an object. Each can be assigned a different material. For this example, let's assign a new upholstery fabric to the Roman shade in the kitchen window. To update the fabric, click Main under the Blinds component in the list. The current material will display in the preview panel to the right. Click the Select Material button to open the library browser. Select the desired replacement material. A preview of the selected material appears to simplify the selection process. Click OK to confirm the selection. The Material Panel Preview will then update with the new selection. Click OK again to confirm the change and return to the 3D camera view where updates can be seen. Changing the material of an object can also be done in the 3D view by selecting a material from the library. Open the Library Browser. Select a material from the library. Doing so will activate the Material Painter. Notice that the cursor now looks like a paint can. The Material Painter makes it possible to paint any object with the selected material. Simply click on the object to apply the material. It is important to be aware that the Material Painter has scoping meaning you can choose whether the material will update a component of an object, like this cabinet drawer only, an entire object like the full base cabinet, or every matching cabinet in the room, floor, or even the entire plan. There is one additional tool amongst the scoping tools, Blend Colors with Materials. This tool can be used to keep the texture of an object, such as tile or wood, the same, but blend it with a selected color. Let's update these wooden shelves with a slightly darker tone. Find a color in the 3D library to blend with. Click R for Room Mode to update all of the shelves at one time. Be sure to click Blend Colors with Materials. There will be a check mark in the box when blending is active. Click on one of the shelves. Notice the color has updated without removing the wood texture. Because we were in room mode, all of the shelves update at once. The eyedropper tool is used to collect a sample of an existing material in the plan and paint it on another object. Click on the eyedropper. Click on a material in the plan to gather a sample. The cursor will change to the Material Paint tool. Click on the object to update its material. To learn more about applying materials, colors, and textures, see the built-in help menu or our support articles on the website.